In this video, we're going to look at snippets. Snippets were a new feature to Expression Engine with version 2, and they are somewhere in between having global variables in Expression Engine, which are very simple strings of text, and having embeds, which we've looked at, which can be whole other sections of a web page that are embedded or included into another. The idea behind snippets is that snippets are able to use some of the dynamic content in Expression Engine, which global variables are not, but they don't take as much processing power or have the full abilities of embed, so they're meant to be a little bit faster. So in order to demonstrate snippets and see it in action, what we're going to do is we're going to take this section of our aside, this little shout out, which could potentially appear in other places and other pages, and we're going to make this a snippet in Expression Engine. You can see that the example that they use in the docs is something that you would have to type over and over again, like a certain type of date formatting. Um, that could be displayed in a snippet, and the snippet could be included inside of other Expression Engine tags. The one we're going to do here is the shout out. So if we come into our aside embed, we're just going to take out this whole aside, mark up and all, and we're going to go back to our template manager. Now across the top of our template manager here we have global variables, which I mentioned, which are just simple strings of text that you could use, create your own variables, and next to it are snippets. Let's come in and create a new snippet, and we'll see that we have to give the snippet a name and then the content. A great practice is to name your snippets starting with the word snippet. And the reason is, is that the formatting and way snippets are styled looks very similar to global variables. In fact, there's no way to tell the difference between a global variable such as site URL that we've seen a couple times and the snippet that we create. So if you say snippet ahead of it, you know that if you ever need to go back and edit it, it is a snippet. So we're going to call our snippet shout out, and we'll go ahead and just paste in our content here, update and finish it. Now notice that there's a global variable within this, and that won't be a problem for the snippet. So now we have a snippet called snippet shout out, and we could just copy this and paste this into our code wherever we need it. This also helps keep our templates a little bit cleaner. We'll come back into our side, and we'll paste our snippet shout out. update that and it doesn't look any different which is good it shouldn't um, but it does have this included as a snippet now if you're still wondering why to use a snippet as opposed to an embed or just leave it there you're not alone and in fact there are other members of the expression engine community that have sort of wondered and are still working to come up with the best practices for snippets however it could be very helpful and it's a good thing to know about um, and keep in the back of your mind for when you're developing a complex site.